Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Uh, if you're first time joining me, welcome to my show. <laughs> show, show and tell. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do a Facebook Live, um, so it starts, ends up on YouTube, called Message of the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's being number 308 is same again. So this is number, this is the third, sorry, it's the third century I'm doing these? Yeah, this is 308. So it's been doing this for a while. I do this every day. And today's topic came out of a consideration I had today about people who choose relationships from a limited place. So the context, or the, the title is, do you believe in love or do you believe in, do you believe in pain? And I'm going to speak to this from a point of view of relationship context because for many of you out there, yes, many of you out there, <clears throat> try them again, for many of you out there, you may have a um, desire for a loving relationship, but for some reason you continually end up in painful ones. And if that's the case, listen closely, I'm going to help you get through this. So first of all, the reality is that we choose relationships from somewhere you don't think you can, you actually get, hang on, no, let me back up, say it again. <laughs> I rushed into it too fast, the words weren't in order. For many people, they, you, me, choose relationships from a place that isn't the intention we think we set. We're being sabotaged by something inside. Yes, sabotage, because you may have the highest possible intention for a relationship and the vision, the intention, the desire, the love, the excitement, the lust, the passion for a relationship, but what shows up isn't that. And it may start that way, but as time goes by, it sinks into a much less comfortable place. And if you're like me, which you probably are if you're on the planet, you find the relationship patterns tend to rep repeat themselves regardless of who you're actually in a relationship with. I'll say that one again. You tend to repeat the same relationship patterns regardless of who you're in a relationship with. Oh shit, somebody said. <laughs> I could feel it in the, in the, from, the, from the viewers. <laughs> and the reason the... Re the reason for the title speaks to this because our wiring which is our belief system isn't necessarily something we think we have clear intention on because we can say well, I believe in the best for everybody meanwhile subconsciously you're judging everybody's stuff so the reality of what you're experiencing matches what's underneath the surface not what's the apparent visibility so when I say do you believe in love or do you believe in pain I'm literally saying do you believe at the core of your being, subconsciously, consciously, everywhere in your awareness, that love is the answer for everything in your relationships? Or do you have some wiring inside that ties relationship and love, well, relationship and intimacy to pain? And for some of you watching, it's the latter. In fact, for, I'd say for most of you watching, yes, most of you watching, it's the latter because until you know differently, you won't do differently. And for most people on this planet, whether using Tinder, Match, or just wandering aimlessly down the street looking to meet somebody, any, any range of the choices, they're still being driven by the wiring inside that isn't aligned to their true vision. So just to, to give you another way of seeing this, if you're somebody who has been noticing your relationships don't match up to what you think you want, this is probably why. Your wiring is running the show and making the choices for you. Your upbringing programming the stuff that you learn when you're a kid that you put into your wiring and installed in in the wiring and it's never been updated your software is out of date which is your subconscious programming so it doesn't matter what your operating system is doing right now whatever's on your, i guess i'm going to i'm doing a computer analogy now so be it but if you're looking what's on the desktop you think that's the way life is you got to watch what's on the hard drive because what's on the hard drive is the programming and the software that's installed 5 10 20 30 40 years ago and it's still running today. So meanwhile, what you have on your desktop is, I'm going to do the latest and greatest and have the perfect choice and everything's going to work great. Meanwhile, your soft, the, the, the programs on your hard drive running in the background are still running the show. And you're going to keep attracting relationship partners that will exacerbate and repeat back to you what you learned as a kid. So whatever your vision is of clarity, until you get this subconscious programming, this, these old files, these old programs, reprogrammed or erased, they're going to be stronger than any vision you have. Sucks, doesn't it? 
truth is, it, you might accidentally fall into the vision, but 99% of the time, you won't. You'll start with what you think is the vision, and it'll drop down into this area, which is the subconscious. And unless you were raised in a very healthy whole life by your family, and I think I was raised pretty well that way, and I still have my issues come up. So I wouldn't even say that's the solution or the answer. The reality is what you have now as an adult is a choice. If you want to choose love rather than pain, you may want to look at doing some investigation. Yes, investigation. You've got to put on your Sherlock Holmes hat and look around and see what it is in your life that's been running your choices for you without you even knowing it, without you being aware of it. Your it's subconscious, I'm saying. It's your subconscious programming. That issue, that programming will continue, will continue. I'll say it again. It will continue to run your relationship with choices until you change the programming. I think I've made the point enough times. I've said this before in other videos. I'm, I guess I'm really on a rant about this lately, but I want to make sure you get this point. You will not have what you want in a relationship long term unless you have the programming in your subconscious aligned to your vision of, that's conscious. When those two match, then you can have what you want. But until then, you won't. It's going to be purely a luck of the draw. And again, 90% of the time, because when you run into a relationship that feels aligned to your high vision, if you haven't done the subconscious work to change it, your subconscious is going to keep dragging you down. And it will actually change your relationship to what you think it was, is to what it ends up being, which is what you go, that's not what I wanted. Just like the last one. I'm back here again. If you've got those sort of words running through your head, this is why. Solution. <laughs> As I said, the way to change it so your vision is strong enough because you have your subconscious programming aligned to it is you've got to rewrite the programming. And usually, most of the time, almost all the time, the way to do that is get help from somebody else. Because most of us are actually blind to what's running subconsciously because we've been living with it for so long, we've become immune, and, and not immune to it, but um, unconscious to it, literally unconscious to it. So it runs along doing its own thing, and we're oblivious. And the mature relationships we think are perfect, and then they fall into the pit. And that's the dance that we play in for most of our adult life until we change it. And some of you watching this, I know personally, I've been through that more than once. So I'm going to say this to all of us watching. If you're really, really clear that you want to change this wiring. Hi, Michelle. Um, if you're really clear about this wiring, and you want to change it. Then I'm going to say you should do this. I recommend it because this is my offering to you as a gift from me to you. I've said this in a few other tapes. I'm saying it here as well. I say it tapes. A few other broadcasts. I'm saying it here again too. If you're in the area where you're stuck and you want to figure out what's going in the way of you getting where you want to go, let me help you with some clarity. I offer a complimentary clarity conversation. It's my gift to you. Always known as a consult or a discovery session. I call it that complimentary conversation. Com com complimentary clarity conversation because that's what I do. It's complimentary. We get some clarity and we have a conversation about where you want to go. If that appeals to you, because it is a gift, it's not costing you anything, you go to my website and you click on the Let's Chat button. And my website is barryselby.com. Click on the Let's Chat, sign up for that, and we can talk. If you have questions about this particular topic and you just want to put something into the comments below, feel free to do that, and uh, I'll get back to you. If you want to share this with anybody you think should watch this because they maybe, they're, maybe they're stuck in this area, they're having this spiral down into this pit of despair, please share it with them. There's hope for them yet. And if you haven't seen my other broadcasts, you can find them all on my website, which is barryselby.com, as I mentioned. Click on the video blog to watch all 307, plus this one's 308. Uh, they're on YouTube as well. There's, these will be on, this one will be on YouTube, the other ones. And that's, that's uh, my playlist is Message of the Masculine, and the username is Barry Selby. Of course, that's my name. Your homework. Yes, you get homework every time you watch my broadcast. I make sure you get your stuff to do. Oh, my God, I give you homework. Here's the thing. If you're single right now and you're not sure where you want to go next in your love life and what you want different, look back at your history. Look back at the last two, three, four, five relationships and notice the common threads. Maybe journal about it, write it down, and get clear about is those things that were the same things that didn't work for you. Because I can guarantee you, for the majority of your past relationships, there'll be a certain thing you go, that happened that one, and it happened this relationship, and it happened there, all the way back. Because you were the participant in the relationship that didn't change. The same person. So do the homework. Write down journal. What it is you remember from past relationships that didn't work. And if you want to be really bold, message me. 
send me that to me and I'll get back to you. I want, I want, I want to, I'm curious to know what your response, your experience, your um, repeated patterns have been. Now, you don't have to send it to me. I'm just offering this an opportunity. And I may reach back and offer you some help. So if you don't want to help, don't reach out to me. <laughs> so with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. And I will see you once again tomorrow. So take care of yourselves. And tomorrow will be number 309. That'll be early, I think, because I'm actually going to be at an event tomorrow. In fact, this weekend, I'm not sure when I'm going to do my broadcast. So you catch us, catch again. But take care of yourself, as always. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.